Hello, Wolfden. My name is Fulton Elba and welcome to Gravitas. I found this game thanks to a fellow YouTuber by the name of Astrafex. He did a small playthrough of this and in order to not spoil myself too much with the game so it remains a full experience for me, I always just skip to somewhere in the middle of the video and just see what the game is about. See how it looks, how it plays. And from what I saw, the tiny few seconds, it looks pretty amazing. So, it's a free game. In... It has been greenlit on Steam, so it will be arriving on Steam shortly. And yeah, I say let's dive straight into this and see what the game is fully about. The Gallery of Refined Gravity. Let's see. And the name, of course, Foltorn Elda. Because what else? Here we go. Fancy door, though. Space. The final frontier. Docking sequence. Okay, we're in space. We're in a spaceship. Elevate the music. Yay. Gorg. Gallery of Refined Gravity. Okay, I get it. Equalizing interior pressure. Remember, there is no flash photography, loitering, or arson allowed in the gallery. No arson? Th then what am I supposed to do with all this gasoline and these matches I brought along with me? Hmm. Fine, I'll put them down here. <laughs> This is looking amazing, though. New arrival detected in the main lobby. Not now, she. I'm having my bi-hourly pondering time. New pupil will be here any minute, and I must release all of my introspectiveness out into space. Space! I like it. So, what have we got here? Quite fancy looking. Higher levels of loitering detected in main lobby. I'm not loitering. Um windows do not stare thoughtfully through themselves. I like it. Would you be a dear and make sure the main desk button is active? The main desk button is active. That was a ludicrously fast response. Did you actually even check? The main desk button. Awesome. Want everything to be perfect. Okay, so cute fancy. I find it very comfortable. <laughs> An interview with the curator. Top 10 places to go cube spotting. Oh, I love this. Nope. Apparently not. So what have we got? Fieldable cube. Fieldable cube is a scientific marvel made out of love and duct tape. The stuff you can do with duct tape. The most advanced cube in the gallery. You may find them in later exhibits. Be careful though, packing that much technology in a beautiful bundle makes them gorgeous but heavy. Not unlike elephants. Button. Ooh. You were right about the gorgeous part and beautiful bundle. That is looking awesome. What happens if we press this again? It falls apart. Okay, got it. I've only been here for a few minutes and I'm already wrecking the place. Great. Let's see, the wire cube. The wire cube, while aesthetically delightful, proved unsuitable for regular use in the gallery due to its delicate structure. One good hit can turn this cube into a series of thin cylinders, which are not remotely allowed in this gallery. These cubes now serve primarily as a lightweight decoration and, on sunny days, a very comfortable hat. Are you telling me that you're being racist against cylinders? Well, would that still be called racism or more cubism or... 
something. Shapism. Not racism, but shapism. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, uh, would be nice if we check it out and not just walk away from it. Here we go. This is the wire cube. Made out of wires. Fancy. So this thing turns into cylinders with a good hit. Can I... Well, it's decently strong. And falls apart. Cylinders. Sort of. No more cube. <laughs> Oh, what hi! You, hi! What are you... What are you doing loitering about down here, you... You silly goose? I'm looking around! Now, uh, she, say hello to our new pupil. Hello to our new pupil. Thank you, she. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's start over, shall we? Yeah, hello. Uh, apologies about um, you. Out of sorts, it's been many a month since my last pupil died. It is an uh, egregiously large pleasure to meet you. My name oh, is... Oh, hold on. Died? Okay, the curator. The right body parts You're a cube. You don't have any body parts. Ooh, I like it. She, you, you silly girl. That's not how you're supposed to open doors. I was not finished here yet. I was loitering for a reason. I know it's forbidden, but I like loitering and taking a look around. The Crimson Cube. The Crimson Cube is a powerful superhero in the cube world, searching for the villain that killed his parents and took a piece of his head as a trophy. His is a tale of revenge and betrayal, enhanced by the fact that he is a cube, spending his life searching for a smaller cube. Awesome! The Crimson Cube, with a piece missing from it, I like it. That's awesome. And then we have the Hollow Cube. The Hollow Cube was a prototype for creating a lighter, easier to move cube. However, somehow she managed to misinterpret the blueprint. And now it weighs over 14 tons. Where does this extra weight come from? We just don't know. 14 tons? Am I supposed to believe that this teeny tiny thing is weighing over 14 tons? That could very well be true, in which case, quite an achievement. And I'm wondering one thing now, since I've been loitering about, what if I press this button? Nope, nothing. <laughs> okay, got it. This place. That's awesome. It's, wow. Okay, enough loitering. Let's move on to the Gallery of Refined Gravity. Sorry. This unique gallery is an exploration into artistic expression using groundbreaking technology and cubes. I can the see that. Is no talking ever. Right, good. She, the elevator. Please enjoy your visit to the board. Okay, one big issue and one rule I'm about to break, and I'm already breaking. I like talking, and I am gonna talk. So we just step in here, I guess. Well, let's do it. This beam of gravity. See, it's awesome looking though. Yep. So to appreciate my revolutionary work here, Hi. you will need this special glove. I call it the Ara. The what? Pedestal to see if you are worthy and or have opposable thumbs. The Ara. Is that a reference to Portal? This game reminds me a lot of Portal. You're like Wheatley or Glados. This is awesome. So this is the. Ah, yeah. Just touch the glove. Okay. She, begin the connection sequence. Integrating artistic appreciation enhancement. 
Enhancement apparatus. Ah! Ding! Integration complete. Right. <laughs> you should be ready. You now have very limited control over gravity. Okay. You have that power. Come to me. Jump this petty gap, you glorious fool! Um. Just jump? Why are you just standing there? You want me to jump in a gap? The first thing the glove deletes is fear. You, Do you need what? Me to explain the controls? That might be helpful. You try and experiment. You know what? It's, it's fine. Now, the glove is wired directly into your spine. So, you can use the left side of your brain to create a gravity field. Left. Okay. okay. And it should just click. Click. Okay. I'm clicking. Do I need to click on those things? Use your left brain. Hopefully it will click. And there you go. Yay! So when you do that, the glove emits energy that attempts to connect with these special glowy walls. Yeah, I see that. These have nothing to do with anything. They are simply gorgeous. Yes, they are. So... Hoping and enjoy the ride? Yeah, I think that's it. Yay! Ooh, art time. This is awesome, though. Wow. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. She load the theatrics algorithm. Theatrics algorithm. Okay. Ooh. Awesome. Little bathrooms. Ooh, bow tie. Oh, bow ties are cool. And the pearl necklace. Wow, that is some real attention to detail. Wow. Ooh, fancy. That's looking very fancy. All the cubes. On cubes and their angles. Okay. Cool. Oh, this is one of those 14 ton weighing cubes. And it's the green cube. Not crimson, but green. Hi. So. Oh, good. There you are. Hi. This is the first piece of my gallery. That's looking I awesome. This one, Ascension. Let me guess, because it rises out of. Now that you have the eye, you have enough memory to store the significance of my work and free Wi-Fi. Yay! Now off you go. Rise to a higher room of artistic thought. Sure, I'll ascend. This is awesome, though. Wow. Alright, so in this first piece, I'm just going to observe you. If you don't mind. This is all for the future of the medium, you understand. Yeah, okay. Let us begin! I heard that! Okay, so... Ooh. It... There we go. So if I hold it, I can see where it's going. I like it. Okay, let's ascend. Um, I'm guessing go over here. Lovely. Um, yeah. I'm you have just discovered the gravity field prediction function. I call those special apparitions. Ghost fields. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I like you a lot. You really remind me a lot of Weedly. The playfulness of Weedly, definitely. Okay, so, um, we just got here, we need to go up, and that way. Awesome. So, this way. Okay. Looking good, and that way. <laughs> Please ignore her. Just, just, just keep going. Yes, I'll keep going. So, yep, 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 yep. Stop it. There we go. So I need to go over there. How do I get there? Okay, I'm gonna activate this. I. Uh... Ooh, it's a cube. I like cubes. So, oh, just like the the gravity fields in the room before, where you, we saw all the things flow around. Okay, I can do that. Yay! Okay, and jump. Perfect. 
Okay, so how do we continue from here? Like that. Um, let me place it a bit closer. Thank you. Um, sorry. I like it though. I appreciate it. It's just looking awesome. You did a good job. Although I'm not sure if I'm going to keep calling you curator. Maybe. Anyway, awesome looking. Plus a fun new toy. Oh, hi. I will now tell you a story. A story about a garden of gravity. The garden okay. is quiet. A Gorg reminder. Press the right mouse button to cancel your current gravity field. She! Holy mother of immersion! Yes! <laughs> the calming ambience! <laughs> Oh, it's just awesome. So tranquil. Traverse its valleys. Search its nooks. Fondle its crannies. Um, okay. Okay, so that's where I have to go, I think. Big gap in between. Glowy gravity lasers and lots of cubes. And tranquil music. I like this place. Okay, so I'm going to have to get the cubes down. Oh, it tells you if there's something in front of it. Oh, that is good. Okay, so right mouse button to console. Awesome. And then... The first stone falls into the river, bringing you goals in sight by disrupting nature. Scaring the air <laughs> and confusing the birds. Stone judges you. Uh, you're not making much sense. The stone judges me? What is that supposed to mean? Also, that thing's floating around. I'm guessing... Here we go. Cube! Yay! I'm smart. Okay, so we need more cubes. Um, you. Go over here. And over there. Well, maybe insecure, but maybe they need to make new friends with each other. There we go. Okay, more blocks, cubes, stuffs. Um, too far. Oh. There we go. Disturbs some fish. They jump out of the water for safety, then land on the shore. As they slowly die gasping, they attempt to lament the irony. However, they cannot because they are fish. After like 2.5 seconds, they forget they are dying. <laughs> okay, uh, I did make a small mistake, I think. Um, yeah, I might have made a small mistake there, I'm not sure. Let me first get all the cubes. Okay, I, if I fall, I can get out, that is good. I knew I saw something here. Uh, three of them. Lovely. Okay, let me get out of the way for you. Imaginary moss distracts a deer who runs away immediately into a tree. <laughs> the fifth stone is a metaphor for distractions. The okay. sixth and final stone is actually just a cube, but it judges me and I hate it. <laughs> you're really not making a much. A you're not making a lot of sense, let me say that. So, um. Let me see. Can I do it with. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can do it with five cubes. Okay, so you were just a distraction, and... Have now all drowned. That's not very pleasant. You were just a distraction, don't worry. This is awesome, though. Really awesome. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end the first episode over here. I have no idea how long this game is, but I will continue this in the next episode. So... If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like or comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all my daily uploads. And if you want to see more of The Curator, then feel free to download this game yourself. I'll post a link down in the comment section below or in the description towards the site of Gravitas. So you can check it out for yourself. And for now, hope you all have a very nice day. 
And the curator and I will see you in the next episode. And remember, have fun. It's so tranquil. I like it. Oh, yep. Do we go left to red or right to blue? Well, also pink-ish. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo grab the tiger at its toe. Blue it is. A choice, maybe as simple as going left or going right. Yes, indeed. How about going left, then? 